Welcome to Rockcast. Dyer's in production. Let's go around it. Let's go around it. Let's go around it. What's up, guys? Welcome to Rockcast 2.0. Oh, oh, that's it. Oh. oh, I am here today with this very handsome feller. This dude right here, his name is Christopher Brooke Reed, spelled K R Y because his mom fucking hates me. And to this day, I still spell it wrong all the time. Also known as Taint Moss, Little Dash, <laughs> and apparently the only child of mine who neither of us seem to somehow have memories of being together for the first three years, which is odd because, yeah, I think maybe when you came over to visit, I might have locked you up or something. I don't know, maybe, uh, <laughs> then maybe put you in a toy box. Or, uh, <laughs> no, it, it says a lot about his character as a kid that I don't remember. Like, I remember the fuck out of Jimmy and Heidi, because they both made my life a living hell, but not a little dash here. So, say a little bit about yourself, uh, where you're from. I mean, as you probably heard under the time, yeah, from Alaska, born and raised, uh, 12 years. I mean, I've been on the original broadcast, I don't know if that's... Yeah, I remember? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah the, those are easily found if you want to be depressed and see how happy I am. <laughs> 12 years, you lived, yeah, 12 years, you got 12 yeah. years of Alaska. Tur- in well, almost 13. Jesus Christ, maybe the explosion <laughs> woke up. Fuck, dude. It kid looks like a negative of fucking... Nathan Explosion. Yeah, that's pretty great. And why'd you leave Alaska? You running from the law or something? But, I mean... <laughs> How old were you? We don't talk about oh, that. Oh, wait, yeah. you would be 12. Oh, I was actually turning 13, like, uh-huh. a month after we got here. So, I guess it's more 13 years. In the time you've been here, what would you say? Well, because, well, now, that's not fair, too, because you were a kid in Alaska, whereas you became a teenager and, obviously, an adult here. So your impressions of Alaska may be kind of weird since you spent most of your more adultish years here. Oh, it's still ingrained. Different. I mean, it's still yeah. I noticed a huge difference when we first got here. So yeah, that's still funny. Explaining to people that we don't live in igloos. Yeah, oh. that always bugged me, man. I never. Anyways. The only igloo I've ever seen was that fake one that you drive by on the way up to like Talkeetna and shit. Trying to build one was difficult because you didn't understand how it worked as a kid. Yeah. Igloos were temporary hunting shelters that the native Alaskans used to get around. And then they took them down. I mean, I was like, I used to be like, what do you think? I'm driving my fucking cable through like a <laughs> hole and then every spring. It's like, oh, we're flooded again. Yeah. So, uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> you're out of high school, obviously. Yeah. Did you graduate? Unfortunately, no. No. So none of my boys have graduated high school. The girl has. That's what I'm saying, folks. I have girls. <laughs> I didn't graduate high school either. But you have been recently... Oh, he's got a girlfriend. Her name is Amanda. She is really awesome and nice. Uh, you guys have been together, what, 22 years now? <laughs> it's about, you know. About it's, been, it's been a year now. Hmm. So. Sweet. And she is also gainfully employed. And you... Have had a couple jobs. Yeah, uh, but none of them have been as nice as working at where I am now, which the, is the Home Depot. Home Depot, and you are—I I always say pick and pull, but it's we'll, pretty much it. Yeah. It's uh, order fulfillment associate. I just go, and if someone orders something online, I pick it out and put it to the side till they get there to pick it up. You guys got like a staging area and shit. Exactly. And yep. You got to check it all off, and cool. yeah. Although we got these. Uh, phones that they have us scan things with so it's it's a lot it's pretty nice nice what's the craziest thing you've had to grab yet i had to pull 144 planks of wood on my first day and then one of the current orders we have to fill is 554 uh sheets of plywood so that'll be fun to do when that comes around nice 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 that's good work man yeah it's fun good work easy work not too you don't have to deal with too much public people which is nice do they have the like 10 foot rule like if you walk by somebody within 10 foot you have to ask for any help or anything absolutely i mean yeah. it's pretty much my job to make sure i'm making eye contact with anybody i walk by good eye contact support especially with the new masks now oh, yeah. where I mean, is your mask is a uh, symptom of you know, something much bigger. Yeah, the COVID system's definitely been interesting, but I mean, I can't complain. I'd rather not catch COVID than 
not wear a mask? You get to look like a ninja. You know how happy Dennis is. I, when I was 15, if you told me that I got to wear a pot leaf <laughs> thing over my face and sell marijuana to people, I'd be like, yeah, because when I used to wear a mask, it was because I was robbing people. <laughs> and what's really crazy is people will come into the store, you know, and you get these fucking dudes coming in like this, and then I'm like, oh, all right, fuck, I got one too, motherfucker. And now it's like, I think if people rob each other now, it's going to be a much more, you'll be like, dude, what happened to your eyes? Like, it's weird, I got robbed by a guy that was wearing that exact mask. You'd be like, that is weird. <laughs> that is very weird. But you'd still get along because there's no proof, you know? Yeah, it's a fucking clusterfuck. 2020 could definitely suck a bag of dicks, but I think it's taught us all a lot about the reality and fragility of our existence, which I feel bad for you guys because I didn't have to deal with that. I mean, well, we ours was scary when I was young. Like we had the Cold War, yeah. the Russians. <laughs> you know, we thought we were all gonna die from nuclear devastation. They were always like, "Go hide under your desk," and we're like, "So you can find the bodies, right?" Is that gonna help me? <laughs> I desk. I mean, I've knocked my desk over just farting in it. So I imagine it was a very gassy job. <laughs> I was so full of shit. So I appreciate you doing this. And yes, Chris was on the original one, and that one is a little more professional. This one, well, that's it, man. I just wanted to get one on my kids. What are what are your goals? What do you, what what is going on in Chris's life right now? Uh, what what are your 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 ambition right now in the next six months? Say if there's some other nineteen year old dude out there who just kind of if you were to give somebody advice, a peer, what would you give them as your advice of anything? Well, I mean, try and get your driver's license as soon as you can. Okay, not yourself. Don't give yourself advice. <laughs> well, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Is, that's the, what that's you know from experience right now? Yeah. I've, I've been trying to get it for a while, and I only missed it by that one question. Yep, I, everybody fails the first time. I felt it. I felt it the first time. Then I got my license when I was 19, and then I lost my license because I'm a Dewey. Don't drink and drive. Mm. And then I failed that test three times because I was an adult and I was like, well, this is going to be so easy. And they trick you with trick questions. He's like, that's not how I drive. I drive like this, motherfuckers. What do you mean? Look, 10 and 2. I don't know what time it is. I'm driving. I ain't got time to look at time. And then the last one I failed because I didn't look over my shoulder when I made a turn on a driving test. Oh, yeah. But just keep doing it again and again and again. Yeah. You need to get out there and proud. You need your instructional permit first. So that you can practice. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, once you're over 18, I believe, you can just go take the test and get your driver's license, and then you have to have somebody in with you for like six months or something like that. Some. I don't believe it. No, once you get your license, you're, you're a licensed adult, as far as I know. Yeah, I don't remember what James had to go through, but Heidi got hers. Like, how do you expect a high schooler to get it? She went and got yeah, to the class and everything, because, yeah. I have a fucking plethora. <laughs> yeah, I noticed. There's a second one just right there. Yeah, there's that one. That's the one my sister made me. So oh. I had a bunch of them. Hers are badass because they're very comfortable and they strap on good so they're not fucking like... Yeah, yeah, that's pretty nice. But then I get all the weed ones now that they're sending like with the unicorn brand on it and all that. <laughs> so that's pretty nice. I'm consistently getting new masks. Well, what else, man? What 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 else? What, what what what's going on in your life? I mean, nothing too crazy. Just trying to work, <laughs> save up money. I mean, if anything, I just found out about. Well, not just found out. I was just thinking about getting a PlayStation VR at some point in the future. Mm -hmm. That way, because I yeah. got a large room. All I got to do is move a chair around, and I got pretty big floor space for that. But that'll be once I have throw away money. Quote unquote. You'll never have that, but you do have your money. And your money, as long as you pay your bills, which he's paying his mother rent, is uh, it's, uh, <clears throat> that. And then enjoying the money you work for. I mean, save some money somehow, but you know, don't make that your life goal. Just make sure that you're comfy. And yeah, you're, you, do need a, you do need to save for some things. I mean, you want to get a vehicle. You're going to have to start calculating how much your check is going to go towards gas and it's going to go towards insurance and stuff like that. But once you're at that point, it's like I was telling your old lady last night, dude. It, it's a freedom that you just, you can't even imagine. It's like when you decide, oh, fuck it, let's get out of here, let's go for a walk. Only instead of, fuck it, let's go for a walk. It's like, let's go for a drive, let's go park somewhere, let's go sleep in the car tonight, let's go camping, let's go wherever we want. Let's go exploring, let's go check out cool places, you know, go to movies in different towns and 
This is so much you can do. Oh, and yeah. you don't have to be here anymore. Once you have a car, dude, you're pretty much, unless you're Jimmy, you're pretty much never <laughs> ever. <laughs> well, at least I wasn't. Because then you don't have to listen to the bullshit, you know, and the younger brothers and all that crap. So well, I'm incredibly proud of you, dude. You have done an amazing job. That last job, I am so glad you quit it. Um, Why is this? Magnets. Huh. Yeah, no, that was... Uh, well, you didn't want to be like your douchebag dad and become a cook for the rest of your life. Look at what the fuck. That is pretty interesting. It's a strong magnet, man. It is, wow. Yeah. Anyways. All right. Well, that's Rockcast. I got 10 minutes out of them. That's all I wanted. I'll edit it down to six minutes so you squirrel brain motherfuckers will actually watch it. <laughs> that's boy number three. Well, kid number three. Boy number two. That is five. Plus Mitch, plus Adriana, plus Andriana, or whatever the hell Alicia. She is. Alicia. You see, it's I just, Adriana, I just, Alicia, Alicia. you were, yeah. yeah. I was just like, hey, yeah, one of them. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I love you all. <laughs> right. And that was that easy, see? And cut. Three, <laughs> two, one. <laughs> Perfect. Actually, do that again. Oh, no, I can't do a picture. Oh, yeah, let me get a picture of you. <laughs> this is only Dyer's production. You can do two pictures on the bar. Let's go home. This is the same. This is the metal. This is the metal. This is the metal. This is the metal. This is the metal.